today's video I'm going to show you how to clean up your ab shells and get them nice and pretty for display. With this method you're going to be able to get some really good looking shells on top. Got a couple of tens here, ten and three quarters. A little bit dusty, I haven't cleaned it in a while. So the absolute minimum you're going to need to do this is a wire brush and a gallon of acid. You can pick that up at any hardware store. I like to have a small brush to get into the cracks and a dental pick will help to get the little tiny growths cleaned up or removed as well. The very first step you're going to want to do is take it home and get off all the slimy growth you can and then set them out in the sun to dry completely. It can take anywhere from a couple days to a week. That's really going to help kill everything inside and dry it out, help get rid of the smell. Another step that's not necessary but can really help with the smell as well is making a weak bleach solution. I'd say no more than 5% bleach and filling it up with water and then tossing it on in and letting it soak for, I don't know, a couple hours. Then take it out and give it a very thorough rinse. Make sure you get all the bleach So out. when you go to do this, make sure you wear some really old clothes because it is messy. And I really want to stress you should wear a respirator for this because this stuff is extremely damaging to the lungs. It won't happen right away, but over time you can really mess yourself up. So don't be like me, use a respirator. It's really simple here. All you got to do is take your brush and scrub it as much as you can and remove all that. A little jingle shell there and take that off and attach it back later for looks. So when you get down to these edges here, you want to be really careful with your wire brush because you can take off the edge and mess up your shell. This is my 10 and 3 quarter where that exact thing happened and I had to end up gluing a piece on because I chipped it off with a brush. So this is where your little brush is going to come in handy to get in close without manhandling it. Nice and gentle. Try not to press down on the edge too hard. It'll take a little bit of time but it's better than ruining your shell. The little brush is also going to be really useful for getting in between the grooves and the vent holes here where the big wire brush won't quite make it. So this part is personal preference. Some people like to leave the little tiny growths on there, gives the shell a little bit more character. Some people like it off. Uh, if you do want it off, you can take a dental pick and stick it in there and kind of twist it and they should pop right off. You do want to be careful if you leave them. There's usually a worm or a snail inside that will stink. So if you can, get tweezers and pull them out. Once you have most of the stuff off the top, you can see the red coming through. It's about time for the first acid, wa acid wash. Before you start with your acid wash, I really want to stress safety. This stuff is very dangerous. You want a minimum of eye protection for splashes and do not breathe it. You should have a respirator. Also make sure your shell is completely washed free of bleach and dried. Because if you mix it with this, it can create chlorine gas, which is very, very toxic. So, get your safety gear ready and charge a hose line nearby so it's ready to go with fresh water. Really simple, just be careful with it. You want to pour just enough over the top to coat the whole thing and leave it on for just a few seconds. You can see the foam coming off it, changing a little bit of colors. First one, do it pretty quick. Nice rinse. You can already see the colors coming through. This is going to give you an idea of the spots that you need to hit harder with the brush and come back for a second wash. Once you rinse it off pretty well there, you'll be able to see the spots that really need work still. So just keep going back through like you did the first time. Use dental pick if you have to. And chip away at it until you get it all off. All right, I've been scrubbing away at this and picking off the growth on there for a good 30 minutes now. Take your time on it, uh, depending on how good you want it. It could take a couple hours or 20-30 minutes. Now we're ready for the second acid wash. For the second acid wash here, just want to cover it completely. Let it sit for a little bit. And give it a rinse off.
and there it is all cleaned up like i said if you want to get it really really pretty be very particular about it you can sit there and go through it again get off the tiny little spots it's all up to you now that you got the outside all cleaned up you can work on the inside here i like to take uh, fine grit sandpaper i've got 320 here you can work your way up to more fine and more fine stuff and you're just going to scrub it and get a nice shine on it. This green stuff here will actually come off with enough time and sanding on it. For the harder spots, you can uh, use a more coarse sandpaper to get through it and then polish it up with the more fine stuff. And there it is, all cleaned up. Quite a difference. I don't really seal it up with anything. That's pretty much where I leave it. It'll dry off, it'll start to get a little dusty after a while, but a quick uh, scrub and a rinse should get it right back to normal. If you save these little jingle shells you take off of them, you can actually use the same method and carefully clean them up. They're very fragile. Uh, get them looking nice and glue them back into the same place. So here's a look around at some of the shells I've done. Regular red abalone from NorCal. You can see the differences depending on how much growth you leave. Barnacles will look nice on a lot of them. Uh, some Powell from New Zealand, coral from Baja, more scallops from New Zealand, a couple of different fish. There's one of the jingle shells I was talking about that you can glue back on. You can also use the same method on scallops here. They come out pretty nice. It gives a lot of texture when you clean up between the uh, little spikes on it. You gotta be very careful, use a small brush so you don't chip the edges. A couple of acid washes and they come out much different than when you pull them. Well, that's it guys, I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Got a little bit more to clean up.